Hello friends, good morning, welcome back to our channel DLP Talks. This is your Lakshmi Bhati. Today, during this tea time, we have one, one of the story of uh, two young brilliant girls, we can say, two young scientists uh, who have uh, invented uh, one of the best solution for cooling solution. So, it is very, very nice. So, the, when they are in school days, they were, uh, they, they were uh, gone through the robotics course uh, in school by school management. After that, uh, in one day when they are moving on the roads of Mumbai, somewhere so in nearby supermarkets, uh, the heat from AC, in generally um, refrigerators, uh, air conditioner units uh, will have um, their condensers, right? So from the heat emanating from the condensers is very hard generally. Inside the supermarkets will be cool, but outside the conden uh, outside the uh, supermarket, say backyards or where uh, AC condensers are there, the heat emanating from those is very hot. So the, these two young girls uh, felt the hot breeze from those uh, coolers and they invented one good tech. Uh, they immediately felt that, that uh, the pain of that. So we itself feeling this. So what's about uh, the earth itself? Because there may be so many air, air conditioners around the world. So how it is going to impact it? That's the that's one of one of the reasons why cities are generally more uh, hotter than compared to the villages. In villages, we don't have that that many local islanding heating effects, the local warming effects like that. In uh, cities, we can find that. So it it not only disturbing pedestrians who are passing there, backyard people, uh, nearby houses, but it is also disturbing the planet, right? So that's the their intention. That's why they struggle a lot uh, during this lockdown for the six months uh, they worked on it they used some uh, some de traditional method we can say still uh, they used some clay some clay pots like that uh, to to uh, to escape the heat passing through that so that it, it is getting a little bit chilling whatever uh, it is generating through ac or raw water or waste water simply they are using that water we can use uh, our work refrigerator some whatever waste water is there we can still use that waste water into this uh, they use one app also it's very nice so i'm just uh, presenting that report here so just watch it i hope it is very good yeah being yeah this is what we can say in uh, whenever uh, if you are introducing any technology anything to the new generation or young generation and the schooling itself yeah they can they can have more more time to think about it yes if you if it's what's happening in today's world generally we are indulging technology or knowledge in almost uh, in our graduations otherwise many people know uh, more about knowledge after they completed everything about their graduation schooling everything after completing their education, they came to know these technologies. Then, is it possible to them to? It's very difficult at that time. So, if my best advice that uh, I can uh, appeal to all is uh, introduce some good technology to the young generation so that they have ample amount of time in their education career so that they can do some better research and all. So it, it is a benefit not only to them but uh, to all the coming uh, coming generations also. So please watch this uh, little bit presentation. I hope uh, you will enjoy, you will like it. So this is what I am discussing. These two young variants uh, found an in innovative solution for climate change. So these this, uh, girls are uh, very intelligent we can say. The, they are uh, Antara Patel and uh, Prisha Patel. They are uh, 11th and uh, 12th students of uh, Jambai Nasi School, Mumbai. They invented very good thing. Yeah, when they are uh, moving around the Mumbai uh, so, uh, uh, streets, uh, they were uh, felt a very hum hot breeze uh, from the refrigerators, uh, from the air conditioners. So uh, they, they just thought that it is a uh, very un un uncom uncomfortable for the pedestrians passing by. So these angles learn that appliances like, like AC have an adverse impact on the environment almost immediately. They also re realized that AC units consume more energy compared to other heavy appliances like refrigerator. They decided to take this uh, issue into action and started working towards uh, a building solution. What's their in invention? Six months after that incident, the girls worked on creating something that could combat the issue using materials like uh, 
Hey and Play One phones, they started integrating technology, sustainability, and robotics. The duo named their device as Aqua Clay Cooler AC Square. After trials and error working with materials like concrete, plastic, they settled uh, on clay, which was uh, sourced from Dharavi. Yeah, generally, the ACs will be like this. Uh, uh, from where uh, it is, uh, from where the heat it is emanating, heat is emanating. This is the cooling solution. Here you can see, just uh, at the back of a uh, air conditioner AC, they just place the this uh, aluminium metallic frame in which they have uh, clay clay cones. Uh, we can say these are our traditional clay cones. Uh, it seems like. Uh, clay water bottles like that but yeah it's almost similar to that yes uh, but it is uh, open at both ends they they, they done uh, the shape and all uh, it uh, it is not like a uh, normal it is like they, they designed by using boils law and venturi effect the size and shape and all here we have many number of uh, clay cones uh, if one thing damages they can use uh, still uh, others will support it uh, generally damage is very chances are less yeah, they used this uh, aluminium metallic frame. Uh, so inside also they are using uh, clay and hay. So whatever waste water is generating from these ACs, they are using that pipe connection. Just uh, to, they are using a uh, irrigation pipe concept to chill that water to the entire entire top portion so that it can come down. So just uh, to have some performance, how it is uh, uh, performing? Is it uh, really good or not? So they designed one app also uh, by using MIT App Inventor. So with that app, uh, they, they, they designed some uh, technology. So they are going, they are uh, tracking the performance, the temperature, humidity and others. So they presented this, uh, this project or prototype at uh, WRO, Old Robot Olympiad. So they won the first prize. Yeah, it's very nice. Generally, uh, every year it, it will be conducted. So this year uh, it conducted in Canada. So yeah, around 26,000 teams were participated from 75 countries. Uh, the main theme is uh, climate squared. So the, 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 this uh, prototype is uh, judged virtually based on video, live interviews and presentations. So finally, it is a very good product we can say. The, this product costs around 1000 rupees uh, as per uh, their uh, details they are they are going to sell this product for 1200 rupees in the market yes this team uh, need, needs some good support also from uh, engineers and uh, some companies so that it can be commercialized so it can reach many people why the contribution is significant one of the major contributing factor to global warming has been heat emissions from AC unit condensers. The number of air condition conditioning units installed globally is set to jump from 1.6 billion today to 5.6 billion by middle of the century. It's almost uh, five times we can say. So another simple way to understand this issue is uh, by noticing the difference in temperature in the city and the countryside. Since city dwellers have more AC units than people from countryside, the air is relatively cooler. Air conditioning units funnel heat outside. They are just funneling the heat outside, exhibiting so-called urban heat island. We can say all cities are behaving like urban heat island. So that's uh, which makes the cities warmer than countryside. Yeah, yeah. This is about this invention, guys. Thank you, guys. This is about this presentation. Yeah, we will meet with uh, next uh, in good story in tea time. Thank you.